Security video shows people next to a dumpster, flames coming out of it. The dumpsters are behind Casa Vega restaurant in Sherman Oaks, where the security images come from. It takes a few minutes for the flames to get big and the people to leave. And then you can see someone wearing a vest try to stop the fire before engines show up to completely knock it down. It is being investigated as arson. And this is a chronic issue in this town of transients and vagrants lighting dumpsters on fire, on fire and small businesses are paying the price. An arson fire all but destroyed a beloved Sherman Oaks flower shop last year. On my head by the woman arrested on suspicion on setting the fire at Mark's Garden is also suspected for several other arson blazes in the area. But business owners say fires are only part of the issue. <laughs> this video comes from the owner of another Sherman Oaks business, the Valley Inn. She also sends images of people blocking entries. A woman sitting on vehicles in the parking lot. Can you get off the car? Hello? Business owners get say the they're car. afraid and looking for help from neighborhood watch groups. Remember that man with the vest who first tried to stop the Casa Vega fire? Well, he's with the California Association of Neighborhood Watch and was patrolling the area. I was patrolling and I saw the smoke coming out from the... So you actually the patrol... Weekend nights, you're out on your car? Oh, yeah. Our workers were basically homeless bouncers and, and crazy people bouncers. We really feel that we're on our own, that nobody is here to help us with these issues. Because she says they've called out for the homeless groups, for example, to come out here, for the mental health groups. It takes, and I quote now, almost an act of Congress, they say, to get police and fire to respond if somebody doesn't get injured. And we've heard that before. Now, I can't tell you one, uh, I did check with arson, they are investigating this thing, and this is not related necessarily to the fire of the flower shop. That person remains in custody because by the time they caught her, she had been responsible allegedly for like dozens of fires. She's still in custody going through the system. So we'll have to see what happens here. But it seems to be again an escalation of what we saw after COVID in Ventura Boulevard, the things that we covered, that things are just getting a bit out of control. Live in Sherman Oaks, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you in the studio. That's exactly what I was thinking because I remember Casa Vega, like all the other restaurants, had to endure being shut down, then having mm -hmm. to do outdoor dining and having to get their own security so in terms of longevity, are, is she able to sustain this? Get ready for this. After we did the interview, she told me she had just gotten a call from her insurance saying that they may cancel her. And that oh. is happening. I was talking to other wow. businesses up and down because of this issue with the, the crime. They're smaller businesses hearing the same thing from their insurers. They don't want to go on camera even because they're afraid of retaliation. But mm. yes, it gets even beyond that. Uh, and, and it's just the tip of the iceberg on this thing. And you got to feel for these business owners. They're barely recuperating. And here we go. That's a whole other issue there. All right, Christina, thank you. in such a popular spot there.